Well, Spokane Sheriff's detectives are trying to figure out why a man who was shot by a homeowner last night would hide from police and refuse medical help even though he was bleeding to death. The fatal shooting between a resident and an intruder happened around 8.30 in a neighborhood near the intersection of Flora Road and Montgomery Avenue. KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey joins us in the studio and Jeff, the homeowner, told detectives he was acting in self-defense. Derek, specifically that after someone knocked on his front door, which no one ever uses, in fact, it's covered with cobwebs, that the homeowner went out his side door and confronted this stranger in the darkness. This part of Montgomery Avenue is waterfront property. Residents have the Spokane River and Centennial Trail right in their backyards. But in the past, thieves have used the trail to access this neighborhood and steal stuff. And that may be what's behind last night's shooting. About 8.30, the owner of this home said someone was knocking on his front door. He did arm himself prior to answering the door. Um, when he did go outside on the porch, uh, he initially didn't see anybody, but then noticed a male in his yard. The homeowner, who served his country as an Army reservist in Iraq, peered into the darkness and tried to get the stranger to leave. That is the information we received from the homeowner, is that uh, after he had told the male to leave, and uh, several times uh, the male uh, charged toward him. Neighbors say that's when they heard a single shot. The shooting victim then ran back towards the trail and was hiding just off this home's back porch when officers found him. The deputies continually tried to calm him down and uh, they were able to detain him and, and get medics in there, but the, the male continued to be uncooperative. But by then, the victim, who had been shot in his femoral artery, had lost so much blood he died at the scene. The homeowner's been cooperative with detectives and not been charged. And late this afternoon, the shooting victim was identified as Nikia Berlin, who has an extensive criminal history, including cocaine and counterfeiting. And so now detectives will be taking that information and autopsy results and adding it to the equation about whether or not this use of deadly force was justified. The final decision, Derek, will be made by Spokane County Prosecutor Larry Haskell. Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.